solution. The soup is not a solution. At Peace Section in Kailicha, yes. block drains regurgitate their contents back onto streets. It's a mess at the public toilet section every winter. I am appealing to our government, especially the municipality, that they must take note of these people, especially small children. Cape Town Mayor Dan Plato has visited informal settlements. He says a study has shown that most people in the mother city live below the flood line. But there's some respite for residents as the heavy rains appear to be over for now. Boris Kabota, SABC News, Cape Town. The Eastern Cape is beginning to reap the rewards of its decision to focus on agriculture in the fight against poverty. The province held a harvest festival, Kukumbu, where fields of maize and sugar beans were harvested. It is supported by the Accelerated and Shared Growth Initiative of South Africa, as GISA. For more than a decade, fertile land in the former Transkai laid dormant. But with poverty levels ever increasing, residents here went back to their roots. 2,000 hectares of maize were planted with an aim to make a difference in these areas. We were doing nothing with our field. There was nothing here. It was dry. It was also full of filthy. Now we are getting that Askiza is going to improve this place. Government has promised to support such projects so that they can reduce poverty and unemployment. Relatively satisfied uh, in that uh, given the circumstances last year, uh, we started planting very late. Uh, at about December we were still planting and we had thought we would get on average about three tons yield per hectare. Uh, but we're not happy because uh, if you look at the soils, you look at the weather, we could do uh, between 8 and 10 uh, tons per hectare. So in that way, we're saying the potential is there and we can do more. Although this year's harvest was not satisfactory, it could be another way of bringing communities together to fight the scourge of poverty in South Africa. At this time, let's take a look at your market indicators. The rent firmed against the dollar in the afternoon session yesterday, with the market keeping an eye on equities overnight to test further local currency weaknesses. Now, uh, you can see the rent against the dollar weaker at 8.22, against sterling 13.33, against uh, the euro 11.51, and against the pula Yakobotswana 1 rand and 16. Having been 284 points weaker at noon, the JSE staged a turnaround and ended uh, just over two-thirds of a percent stronger to 22,469. This supported by Positive Wall Street and by Resource Counters, which received some